What's going on guys, this is Ketchup here, and we're going to be doing another character overview. This time we're going to focus on uh, Drunken Master Bo Raicho. My controller might die a couple of times in this video because the wire is on the way out, so bear with me for that. Um, but a lot of people have been asking for me to do a, a Drunken Master overview. I'm not going to be doing a Dragon's Breath one because I'm going to sort of... I'm, I'm, I'm really waiting for Omega K um, before we do that one because he has a whole a bunch of cool stuff to demonstrate, whereas Drunken Master is the variation I've been putting a little bit of time into. So this is going to be a very, very basic overview of the variation. Um, and, you know, there is there is higher level stuff out there. Um, quite a, a couple of YouTubers, actually. I can't remember the names off the top of my head, unfortunately. Um, but I've been watching their matches. They do play Drunken Master. So by all means, go and, you know, check out those guys um, for some higher level footage. But first things first, we're going to look at how you gain access to Drunken Master's moveset. You have to drink, which is down, down one. And then you get access to the moves uh, with the exception of his vomit, which is down forward two, you get access to all of his moves if you drink. Um, you know, the moves that he only gets access to if you use that. Meter burn drink will give you level three immediately. And if obviously, for example, your vomit, which is down forward two, level three vomit will turn into something completely different. Uh, you can drink up to three times. Three is the max. And the more you drink, the more damaging some of your um, Drunken Master specific moves will go. For example, let's look at what his, his uh, universal moves are going to be in Drunken Master. So down forward two is vomit. Meter burn is safer on block. If your max drink, vomit will change, as you can see. A much bigger projectile. Meter burn will fly straight forward. Um, down back one, when your drink is available, is a flurry of punches. This will increase the higher level you are. As you can see, level 3 will be completely different. An entirely different animation. You've got uh, back forward 3, which is a head charge. I believe meter burn is armoured. I believe the meter burn version of that is armoured and does more damage. And you have um, the meditation stance, which is without drink. If you, if you sweep and then hold down, he will go into meditation stance. Um, this is the only way to go into meditation stance without drink. Um, when you're in meditation stance, 1, 2, and 3, and 4 all do something different. When you're in meditation stance, 1 will roll back, 4 will roll towards, or I guess vice, you know, switch up if you're on the other side. It depends on what other side you're facing, really. Um, but when you're in meditation stance, 2 does like a rising uppercut, and 3 does a flurry of kicks that will launch the opponent. 2 and 3 will both launch, um, but 3 is going to be kind of be your go-to launcher. Now, uh, the only other move I've missed is if you're level 2 or higher... Down forward one will do this right here. This whole bunch of like sort of like windmill -y punch things. I don't really know what they're called. Um, one thing to bear in mind with that is incredible meter builds. So look at my meter there. One, two, one, two, down forward one. I pretty much build an entire bar of meter on that sequence. And it's pretty safe on block. There's a lot of pushback on that as well. Um, and that right there is pretty much the, the biggest reason I do not think Drunken Master is competitively that viable. Especially compared to the other two variations. If you do not drink... Within the next 10 seconds of taking a drink, uh, Bo Raicho will throw up on the floor and it will stun him. When he's stunned, he's free for a free combo. If the opponent's paying attention to the timer, they see that, you get comboed for free. And that's the problem. There's a whole bunch of different elements of the drink um, that I, I'm not a fan of. Um, and this is going to kind of be half character overview, half my opinion on the variation. Um, so first things first, the canister drinking is a very big detriment to you because... It's been, Bo Raicho has been designed, so in Drunken Master he can cancel almost anything into drink. So throw into drink or special cancel. Down back one into drink, special cancel. You have enough time after monkey flips to drink. Um, you know, you can special cancel your ground pound into drink. Um, all kinds of things will, will special cancel into drink. So the idea is that after every single hit, you would use a drink to kind of keep those moves and to level up those abilities, right? That's kind of what the it should do on paper. The problem is, the second you drink, as if you were to drink in the neutral, I've put myself on a 10 second time limit, where when I reach that 6 or 7, 8, no, 6, 7 or 8 second mark, I now have to do something, because if I don't do something here, I'm going to throw up on the floor and get stunned, and the opponent is going to know that. So, I become a lot more predictable with how I'm going to try and avoid myself from throwing up, because I'm either going to try and drink, I'm going to be hasty with running in, because I'm going to have to try and drink, and you might be wise to that, or I'm going to have to try and jump to outdo the timer, because if you jump as the timer expires, you don't vomit, However, you're in the air, which means an opponent can read that jump. So, we're going to talk about how to apply the vomit, basically. Uh, how to apply the vomit. How to apply the drink, in my opinion, the most effective way. I feel like Drunken Master is put to best use when you punish somebody 
and then you go into his meditation stance for a mix-up potential. What I mean by that is, when you meditation stance, um, there is some sort of a pressure mix-up thing there, where when you watch people play Drunken Master, they'll cancel something on block. They'll cancel a string on block. And then they'll roll and go for some kind of mix-up. I don't know how much of that kind of stuff is smoke and mirrors. Um, it looks pretty minus to me. I, I'm pretty sure you can get armored and you can get reversal and probably even punished on some of those strings. It's just more of a matter of the opponent might not be ready for it because the roll is invincible. Um, so it does go through projectiles and other attacks. So it is a way in for him. Um, but the problem is, again, that the slow recovery on those rolls of using it for pressure means, I don't know, it might be a bit of, it looks quite gimmicky to me personally. Um, however, Using the drink in a more effective way, for, in my opinion, is using it guaranteed off a fart stun. So if I were to punish something, for example, and then run in, you get a guaranteed drink into a mix-up off that. So the mix-up will come from jump two into delayed forward three, jump two or delayed back three. So you can time it, you can time it just right so the combo will reset. Um, so if you jump, the opponent is almost going to be completely, you know, convinced that by doing this jump in after a stun you're going to combo because I mean you know the go-to ender will be something like back you know back two three three into monkey flips off most variations because you can you know you monkey flip um oh god I'm jumping the wrong way the most sort of go-to ender would be monkey flips into meter burn into something so a lot of the time the opponent is expecting that so they're going to try and just block anyway um the mix-up of drunken master will come from special cancelling almost any string into the meditation stance because meditation stance with a drink activated is just down down three so you can special cancel into that for example you can special cancel off most of your strings and then go for the monkey flip version bear in mind sorry the, yeah the flip up kick version which is when you're in your meditation stance um three will launch the opponent you've got to be close enough though so what this does let bro Raicho do is it gives him meterless damage mid-screen uh, where if you land a punish of anything really you can mix up go in for a stun drink again and then, you know, you can go in and do whatever you want, really. There's some cool conversions you can get in Drunken Master mid-screen. Um, but it basically means that, you know, even if you do it without anything, if it's just off a regular punish, you can still get this. And then punish them into, like, you know, 33% or whatever you want to do. The point is, uh, this, this flip-up kick allows you to special cancel and get that sort of mid-screen damage um, off like punishes and stuff rather than just strings by themselves. Now this also helps because your mix-ups, things like the 244, the low, or you know this this part of the string or whatever really, um, it allows you to combo off those without having to go to like some kind of smaller damaging ender and it's meatless. So you know the reality is you can get these punishes um, and, it, and it, you get combo off the mix-up anywhere on screen rather than having to just be in the corner to maximize that damage. Now, when it comes to mixing the opponent up, you will special cancel either back 1-2 into, into the meditation stance because back 1-2 starts off a low and is a string. Um, the back 3-2, which is again a low that looks kind of similar to this, somewhat, to a degree. Um, or your forward 3. So the mix-up will come from forward 3-4, back 3-2, or back 1-2. When you apply this mix-up off the meditation stance, back 3-2 will special cancel, allowing you to full combo into whatever you want to do. Um, or you can special cancel into something else. So you can special cancel into back 1-2. This will combo as well. And that will once again stun the opponent. And then you can do whatever. Um, you can kind of, you know, you can kind of, you get the idea. Um, or you can special cancel off the forward three. So forward three, four, and then this will combo as well, and then give you the guaranteed meter burn off that. So it's not quite a vortex, but you can get the guaranteed meter burn ground pound, which gives you uh, the guaranteed restand. So when it comes to using Bo Raicho's uh, drink, I strongly suggest that when you start this variation, you get into the hang of only really using the drink if you get it off a stun because you can kind of loop a sequence. So let's say I turn him off and he's just been hit by the 50-50 because there is an element of a 50-50 here in the forward three which is overhead or back three which is low. So let's say I punish him off something. So let's say, let's say I've got this, right? So I punish him. Guaranteed drink. And then I delay this. And then, you know, you go for whatever. So if I'm going to go for the low, the low is where you're going to loop it. So if I punish someone and then I run in for the stun, Go for the drink, delay it, and then go for the restand. As you can see, I've got a complete reset, and then if I want, 
I can just end the combo. And that, that's good damage for one mix-up. Um, the same would apply off, you know, if I get the stun, the same would apply on the delayed back one. Um, because that will also, you know, the opponent's going to sit there and block because they expect a follow-up. So if you delay your follow-up, um, they can get hit by the 50-50. So just to show you the overhead option, let's just go, let's say I've just got a generic punish. Jump in, delay this. Oops, let's go for it again. Haven't quite got the muscle memory yet with this variation, so bear with me. Got some combo drops. Oh shit, I comboed it. God damn it. And there you can see. So you, you guys get the idea, the, the general idea of what's going on here. Um, so using it safely will be after stuns, essentially. Um, because when you stun the opponent, you have enough time to go for a drink and then follow up with whatever you want to do. Um, and that's kind of what you can do there. Um, the danger is that, you know, if you're using it in the neutral, like if you're here and then go, right, I've got free space, I'm going to drink. Now you've put yourself in a predictable situation where the opponent's going to try and get you. Um, I mean, you can end certain combos and other things. So, for example, you know, you could, if I've got this drink already and I catch the mix up, you know, you can combo into this, go for the fart, drink. Cancel into the punches, go for another drink into whatever. Uh, you can still go for that kind of stuff um, where, you know, let's say you punish meterlessly, go in for drink, drink up, and then you go into something that allows for a special cancel. Guaranteed ground pound into drink, and then, you know, whatever you want to do, really. Uh, it kind of allows you to to kind of keep drinking um, off every hit. The danger is that if your mix-up is not successful, it's not that, you know, let's say the opponent blocks... If the opponent were to block this mix-up. So I drink to go for the mix-up. So now the problem is, although I've hit confirmed on block into roll, I'm probably going to have to block now I've used the roll, and I'm on a time limit where I can just throw up. Um, so if my mix-up is not successful, you have to be prepared to try and find ways to get around the fact that you're going to vomit. Um, because having to sit there and block is one thing, but having to sit there and block when you're uh, basically playing against the clock to not throw up and stun yourself is an entirely different story. Now, I actually recorded a video a few days ago where I made a very negative discovery with this variation involving the guaranteeing the vomit as someone who was fighting against Drunken Master. Um, and I will put that up eventually. Um, it's very interesting and it's it's not that great. Um, and it's, one again, one of the many problems I have with this variation. But I just kind of wanted to sort of demonstrate an idea of what you could do with this variation. Um, and just generally what he can do uh, picking Drunken Master. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It was a bit all over the place, really. Um, but to be honest, the variation is quite complicated, really. Um, so there's no super, super simple way to go into it, unfortunately. If I missed anything, please let me know. I mean, like, you know, I'm trying to debunk this variation. There's more to learn all the time. But um, it just seems not, not that easy useful to me. I don't know why you'd pick this over the other two, personally, in my opinion. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it's a little bit more insightful, I suppose, and I will catch you next time. Take care.